Hi, this is Zane Daniel. I wanted to thank you so much for participating in this meditation and activation. This is not just a guided meditation, but it is an activation. I work with an extra dimensional collective called the Hathors. They're very powerful. And by listening to the sound of my voice, you're being activated by the Hathors. And then peppered throughout this meditation, you will receive very specific targeted energy healing through activations. And how these activations work is I will say breath in. And when I do, you'll take a nice big deep breath and you'll hold it at the top and you'll wait for me to say the word awaken and then you can exhale. But it will be loud, so don't be too surprised when it bursts into your ears. This is the signal that will send a high burst of energy to accomplish whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish. And as with all high vibrational energy activations or attunements, it's important for you to know that this can result in a little bit of a recovery period. So don't be surprised if you feel extra tired or extra wide awake. Drink plenty of water after you listen to this and this recovery period could actually take a couple of days for you to get over. But understand that if you do experience a recovery period, you've gone through quite the transformation. To use the Monday meditations as intended, I invite you to listen to each one all week, every day, until the next Monday meditation releases, and then use that one every day for a week. Each time you listen to them, they will become more and more integrated into the amazing being that you already are. Go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath. And relax as you exhale. Feel your shoulders drooping. Feel your body coming into a state of peace. Take all of the things that are bothering you, that are worrying you, that are upsetting you, and set them aside just for the next 20 or 30 minutes. You'll get back to them as soon as this is all done, but you are not responsible for those things right now. I want you to take your presence this is often located in your head. If you think about it, you, because you can see out of your eyes and hear out of your ears and speak out of your mouth and smell out of your nose, that most of your awareness is in your head. If you think about your body as, a, as like a biological robot, where do you think you reside in that body? Most people don't feel like their presence is in their feet or their elbows. Most people think of their presence as in their head because they open their eyes and they can see, they can hear, and all this information feels very head-centered. It's very easy to go into this state. We humans really see the world from our heads. And it feels like our thoughts are coming from our heads too. But right now what I want you to do is move your awareness from your head to your heart. Imagine that you had eyes on the front of your chest and the ears were on your shoulders. And your mouth is on the front of your chest as well. Put yourself down there because there are brain cells in your heart. You can think with your heart. And when you do this, you can talk to a different part of you than you can otherwise. When you ask yourself if you're good enough, your head will say one thing 
but your heart will say something else. If you say, can I do this? Your head might say no and your heart will say yes. Do I love enough? Your heart's always going to say yes. Do I care enough? Absolutely. And really suffering comes from thoughts. It comes from thinking that you're going to lose something that's important to you or that you're not going to get what you want. These are thoughts that create the illusion of, of lack and deficiency. But your heart always knows. It knows all the answers. It knows all the deep truths. I want to talk about confidence. One of the things that we have the most trouble with is believing that we can do it, that we're strong enough, that we're good enough, that we can solve the problems, that we're tough enough to get through the suffering. And when we don't believe that we are good at those things, or that those things that we're just not good enough in general, that's where the suffering really begins because you feel lack, you, you feel inadequacy. You become concerned about the future because you depend on something outside of you to provide what it is that you think you want, but ultimately you already have. When we have confidence that everything will work out, that we can solve any problem, that we can be strong enough to make it through our own suffering, that we are loved and that we are loving enough, then everything kind of takes care of itself. I've recently had a situation where my confidence was shaken. And so I know exactly what it feels like to have those doubts, to question my decisions in the past, to worry about my ability to handle the future, handling unknowns. So I totally get it. These things feel insurmountable. But there's this place in your heart that you can go to and it will tell you the truth. It will say, it doesn't matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter what happens in the future. I know I'm incredibly capable, amazingly good, amazingly powerful. And that if I focus on that thought about how good and powerful I truly am, and I stay there just long enough to let it really sink in, then it doesn't matter what happened in the past. And it doesn't matter what's going to happen in the future. By the way, those things are attachment. You're attached to something happening correctly. And then you'll be okay. You're attached to getting the result that you wanted and then you'll be okay. But actually, You already are okay. And that attachment 
keeps you from discovering this incredible truth about yourself, that you are powerful and capable. So moving forward, I want you to picture yourself operating from your heart. After this meditation is over, you'll get up, you'll walk away, you go to the kitchen, you'll call a friend, you'll go to work. And when you do those things, I want you to picture yourself living in your heart, seeing the world from there, knowing that you can freaking handle anything. And it doesn't matter what happens, and it doesn't matter if there's any evidence to the contrary. Because there's always another chance. There's always another opportunity to prove to yourself how great you are, how good you are, how capable you are, how amazing you are. There's always an opportunity to prove that. As soon as one has left, another one is there to take its place. And it might simply be how fast you can recover from the bad thing that just happened. Or how easy it is to recover. Or how amazing it is to recover. Or how patient you are because you are not recovering right away. And that's okay. That's an amazing strength to say, you know what? I haven't recovered yet. I've got to go through this a little bit more. But I'm ready. I'm okay with it. I'm confident in myself, in my ability to do this. And then the next opportunity will present itself and it will be even more amazing than the one that you quote unquote got wrong. So I really want you to center yourself on your heart right now. As you breathe, imagine that you're breathing right out of your chest. You're breathing in through your chest, you're breathing out from the same place. This fills you with energy, with trust and knowing and confidence. It gives you the ability to forgive yourself it gives you the ability to know yourself. So we're going to really bolster this, this feeling of seeing the world from your heart. Breath in. Oh! Imagine life, the rest of life, having this, this much faith and confidence in yourself. Imagine how amazing it would be. Not because it would create only positive results, not because it would create exactly what you want or what success means or your perfect picture of how your life should go, but actually how you move through everything, no matter whether it goes right in that context or wrong outside of that context, you're still right here in the chest. You're right here in the heart knowing that truth about yourself that you can handle it all and that you welcome it as the next great challenge if you have anybody outside of you who doubts you that's their problem 
If you have anybody outside of you who you're afraid of, you're so powerful that it's a joke. When you have a situation that you can't resolve because of the people that are involved in it, then it's not meant to be resolved right now and here's your chance to prove how amazingly strong, confident, and powerful you are. Welcome it as the next challenge. You are not here to screw everything up. You are not here because you made a whole bunch of mistakes. You are here to flourish, to thrive, to explore, to experience, to be. You could be here to search for things or create. You could be here to love or be loved. You could be here to find your mission and accomplish it. You could be here to find your mission and fail it and discover something more amazing than your mission would, could have ever been. But we know that we're here to be a human and have a human experience and use this one place that we often forget about as our, let's call it, our base of operations, the heart. If you do what you feel deeply is loving, strong, and true to you, then it doesn't matter what happens. Everything could fall apart. But you know that you worked entirely from the heart, not through fear, not through doubt, not through guilt, impatience, frustration, disappointment. Yeah, those might have happened all along the way. But if you stay present in this heart place, this heart-centered place, then it doesn't matter at all what happens because you will always have been in your pure, true, self. Sometimes it takes very challenging, painful, and difficult lessons to truly realize this. But when you do, look out world, because this version of you is not going to stop until it delivers its heart-centered truth to anyone and everything, every animal and every moment that it possibly can. And I'm so excited to take mine and shower the world with it. And I can't wait to see what you do with yours. So take another nice big deep breath through your chest and let all of that shine on your exhale. And when you're ready, to show the world, to show yourself, to show your family, to show your friends, 
how heart-centered you can be, then you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for participating in this activation. As you could probably tell, this was very close to my heart. And I can't wait to share more of what I've learned. I love you unconditionally, and I'll see you in the next video.